Hi all, I just wanted to shoot a quick intro for this video as I didn't like film I guess a proper intro for the video um, but basically this is a video of what I have eaten and worn in like the last week or so of being on holidays with my mum so she came up to Melbourne to visit me and to get a couple appointments and stuff out of the way so we just spent the whole week basically just walking around um, eating doing some like tattoo and piercing appointments some hair appointments and stuff so that's been really fun but predominantly this video is just going to be based on the food and the fashion side of all of that. Now I do want to just say that I didn't talk a lot in this video because this was sort of I guess my first time like filming in public and like proper like not being discreet about it um so you won't hear a lot of talking it's purely just for the visuals um i ate a lot of amazing food we tried really hard to like put together some really fun outfits um and i hope you all enjoy it uh cool enjoy watching the video <laughs> oh my god i'm so awkward <laughs> we're off to pick up mom i can't wait so much food and so much excitement to come hello it is a voiceover taylor i thought i'd just Put some voiceovers in here because I didn't talk much during the video, just so y'all can get an idea of like some of my thoughts on the places that we went. So enjoy. So this place was called A Dozen A Dozen and it was a Japanese souffle pancake restaurant. We went here for lunch and it was so good as you'll see. Okay, so this rose and passion fruit tea was so delicious and super refreshing. Mum didn't like it as much, but I absolutely loved it. So mum had the tiramisu souffle pancakes. I'm not a massive fan of tiramisu, but she loved it. Um, and it was pretty good, I guess. And I obviously had the chocolate uh, and banana souffle pancakes and they were so good. A little bit sickly, not gonna lie, but still fantastic. I feel like half the fun was just jiggling them and cutting them because they were so soft and bouncy. So I decided to take mum to my favorite Ethiopian restaurant. I love this place so much. It's got such like a home feel to it. Everything feels like it's cooked from like your grandma's kitchen, your Ethiopian grandma's kitchen. Um, mum liked it, but she didn't like it as much as I love it. So I was a little bit sad. You know when you like take someone somewhere and you show them your favorite thing and they don't love it like you do. But still like, I mean, I ate the whole thing. So I still had a good time. <laughs> Grounds of Eden um, is this cafe in Coburg and it was the most stunning cafe I've seen in a long time. Like this, the interior was so thought out um, and yeah, I just can't believe I haven't been here before. And even all the food was so aesthetically like pleasing. Um, this was a dirty rose. It was a uh, rose syrup latte. This thing was like addictive. Um, I can't believe how good this tasted. I enjoyed this so much. Okay, here I am <laughs> trying to act cool on camera and I just end up like dropping all the food out of my mouth. So uh, I hope this doesn't make anyone feel uncomfortable. <laughs> but the food was also just like off the charts. It was so good. After that, we headed to the Imaginaria, which was this amazing um, light, like interactive light show slash all this stuff that you could like touch and feel. Um, it was just really amazing to be like so absorbed in these beautiful rooms of color and light. So feel free to like sit back and enjoy the light show.
ask me a question. Are you real? Am I real? Hmm. Let me see. If you're looking at me and I'm looking at you, would you consider us real? I was super nervous to film this. Um, there were so many people around and I just wasn't feeling it. Like I love my outfit, don't get me wrong, but if my face looks nervous, I look uncomfortable, that's why. <laughs> We went to Panda Hot Pot, which is this really popular restaurant in Melbourne at the moment. And it's just this beautifully decked out in like gold and beautiful Chinese um, style interior hot pot restaurant. I thought it was good, but not as great as it, people make it out to be like online. But Regardless, like the atmosphere was wonderful. I kind of felt like you were paying for like the atmosphere mostly, but totally worth going. Now the only reason I wasn't as impressed is because I am a vegetarian so I don't eat meat um, and the soup bases didn't have a lot of that flavour that like a normal like bone broth would give off and also the vegetarian like options were obviously just going to be vegetables so like it was good but I just kind of wish the soup had a little bit more flavour to it because then I think it would have made the rest of the meal really good. Regardless I still did enjoy the meal. So this is Insta, it is a bubble tea place and it is so cute. They put your tea in these gorgeous glass bottles which you get to keep. And I had the, uh, I think it was like Mr. Bobo or something like that, which is just a brown sugar bubble tea. So freaking good, would 100% recommend.
So for this morning, we went to Cafe Lafayette, which was a which is a Japanese uh, breakfast brunch spot, and the interior was really really cool in here. I had the breakfast bowl and this was so delicious. It was just like hit the spot perfect. The right amount of sweetness with the right amount of like texture from the pepitas. Um, the fruit was beautiful. It was exactly what I wanted that morning. Apologies for the blurry shot, mum missed a memo on focusing this one. Thanks, mum. <laughs> for dinner on this night, we went to Taksim Square, which was a Turkish restaurant. Um, I obviously got, mum obviously got meat, but I obviously got um, like a vegetarian platter. It was pretty good. I don't think I've really had like full Turkish food, like um, proper traditional Turkish food before. So it was pretty good. For this uh, part of the day, we just skipped breakfast and went shopping all day until like three o'clock, I think. Um, so that's why you're not going to see any brunch in this shop. My mom is a massive sushi addict and the first time we ever came to Melbourne together we went to a sushi train and just like fell in love with sushi after that. So we had to hit up Sushi Hub um, and their sushi train. Mum and I have a tradition where we go and have tea and scones together whenever she comes up to Melbourne and also when I um, visit her back home. So we went to Third Tier which is um, a gorgeous, gorgeous little, I guess like cafe restaurant. 
um, like Victorian era themed that does your traditional high tea and the interior was just like amazing. Um, one thing you all need to know about me is that I may look very goth and wear all black but I love 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 Victorian era interiors. I love the chandeliers, I love the velvet couches so this was kind of like a little heaven for me. So the scones were jam and cream, these were just like your classic traditional scones but they were really really good um, and I just, I'm a sucker for a good scone with jam and cream. So we hit up the night market at Queen Victoria, for anyone who doesn't know, the Queen Victoria market holds uh, night markets maybe like once or twice a year, could be more, but it's just a huge collection of um, restaurants that come with their booths and you can just walk around and get like different types of food, like obviously there was creme brulee, there was Spanish, there were tacos, dessert, there was a bar, like anything you can kind of think of, there was at least one of it. I ended up getting some halloumi fries and they were pretty good, like really salty, but pretty damn good. I love halloumi. So another little tradition of mum's and mine is that we are addicted to bananas dipped in chocolate. So when we saw the chocolate fountain, it was like no brainer that we were going to get that. So this was my last day with mom, so sad, but we decided to go back to the brunch spot that she liked the most and we ordered I like the identical same thing that we ordered before because it was just that good. Finally, to cap off mum's stay, uh, me, her and 
four of my best friends decided to go out to Veggie Bar, which is a completely vegan restaurant, um, and just spent a night chatting and catching up because she hasn't seen them in ages. This place was really good. Um, they just do a mixed menu. It doesn't like there's really no rhyme or reason to like what they have on the menu, but it was really tasty. And that's pretty much it y'all, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, I really enjoyed editing this, so let me know what you think looked the most delicious, um, and I will see you in my next video, bye!